Welcome to the eighth episode of Outside the Lane. Today we have five-time Pro Bowler, three-time or four-time All-Pro, 2010 All-Decades <laughs> team, Mr. Bad Boy Fletcher Cox. Fletcher, where have you been? What, what have you been doing towards, uh, I guess, in quarantine? And uh, explain a little bit of that lifestyle you've, you've had over the over the off-season. Oh, man, it's been a weird off-season, but fun off-season. Uh, I've been spending a bunch of time at uh, – as y'all know, uh, what what ranch is that? Being a ranch hand on my own ranch, Shady Trail Ranch. Spending Shady Trail. Of- I thought it was Shady Tail. Shady Trail Ranch. Yeah, Shady Trail Ranch, and uh, we'll, we'll get to that. Yeah, uh, spent a lot of time out there being a ranch hand, you know, from my own place, but enjoying it. Uh, this quarantine, and you know, stand, you know, staying safe. How how awkward has the uh, the Zoom meetings been? Meeting every day. That was uh, quite a different experience, wasn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of different experience. Uh, it, it, it was different, you know, especially, you know, having to ask questions through a video, you know. Uh, but the, the biggest thing is, you know, having everybody on there and and you know, keeping the keeping the room the room, like joking and exactly. stuff like that. That's so that's, that's what we've been doing. Was uh was BG acting a fool in those meetings, or was he? Yeah. Uh... You know, BG can barely keep a shirt on in the meeting, so he just got to keep a shirt on. But uh, did he have the taco? Hard... Did he have the taco hair showing? Yeah, he got to have the taco out. You know, we got to give him a hard time about it though. But uh, you know, BG yeah, gonna I saw, get G. I saw where y'all had a uh, some of the I guess the the D line came out there, and y'all had a couple I guess workouts. Yeah, uh, it came out there. We just we got we got a little work in together. We needed that. Uh, guys came out there and got better, man. Shoot, that's all I can ask for. You know, it means it means no guys took a whole week of their free time and came out there to get better. Is that they stayed the whole week? I bet that was fun. Did you did you take some of those guys fishing? No, uh, I think I think Deshaun and his brother went fishing. I think Rush went fishing, but a lot of guys did stuff they never did though. They rode horses. And some of them never rode horses. They rode, they rode horses. horses. Yeah, you should have saw DB on the horse. <laughs> did, uh, did, did Anthony Rush get on the horse? No, nah, I wouldn't have one big enough for him. <laughs> You needed a damn Brahma bull for him, didn't you? Man, we got a big bull out there, about 2,400 pounds. He didn't want to ride him, though. <laughs> but them boys shot. Right. Should have I, saw Malik I, out there, though, bro. You know, he's Malik. so cow. He saw a bug. Yo, bro, how you live here with these bugs, bro? How, how do you handle the bugs? He probably never saw a shotgun, never seen it. Yeah, so. He shot skeet, though, but he, he was on. Um, he got good, though. They, they he got, got better? Good. Yeah. Yeah, I bet he had a blast. So, man, I want to start back before before Philly. I'm going to go back to growing up, and you're from Yazoo City. Is that correct? Yazoo City, Mississippi? The Yazoo Cert- Certified? Yeah. I remember seeing that face mask, Yazoo City. I was saying, hey, I look kind of clean. I wish I, wish I had one. Uh, I want to know what all you were involved in growing up in junior high and high school. What what all you played? What positions were you? I want to hear some stats, maybe some stuff that, that none of the people know about. Uh, hold on, okay. Tell Philly, Philly wants to speak to the people. Tell what's up, Philly. Philly, get out. <laughs> get out the couch. You know, but nah, but uh, man, I'm just from Yazoo. I play uh, play a bunch of sports. Uh, were baseball, were a little bit when I was real young. How big a school? No, no, we played? were four. Oh, you're a bit. No, we were four. Five A. Yeah, went up to five A and six A. Yeah, yeah. but uh. I, um, when I was real, real, you know, you know, I played baseball. I started playing flag football, but I was a quarterback flag football. And uh, you still talk, you see you that still didn't work out. But uh, man, you see me pregame. You see me pregame. Yeah. But uh, I played catch with you a few times. Yeah. Uh, man. No, we didn't play ice hockey. Somebody said ice hockey. We ain't even got that here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there ain't no ice down there. It's so damn hot. Uh, no ice. No, I played just about every sport growing up, but uh, the main thing was I started playing tackle football. I started playing tackle football to eighth grade. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, a lot of people did, don't know uh, that. Did they not have it at seventh in Texas? They started in seventh. No, nah, they no, nah, they they had it. They had. I just didn't play. You know, my mom would let me play. play. One of them deals. So I finally started playing tackle football, and uh, and that's really let you play. You're gonna tear up somebody out there. <laughs> and probably, I already know. But so we play. So no, no. Some, what position did you play in baseball? First base. First base. That's what yeah. I played. Yeah. There ain't nothing like snagging them, but there ain't nothing like a third baseman throwing that sucker right in the ground. Yeah. Just... And it's and it's your fault. Hey, it's it's your fault. 
Uh, but what a lot of people don't know, though, is in high school, I ran track. I was on the four-by-one team. Second leg. Yeah. See, I, I didn't know that. And yeah. You know, sometimes the second leg is the fastest. What people yeah. They think it's the anchor. I was one of the fastest, but I was the second leg. What um? What were you weighing at that time? Oh, about 200, 210. Oh, so, hey, so it was a it was a different breed of Fletcher Cox. Oh yeah, well, uh, I, yeah, it was a totally different breed. You know, I was that I was that uh, probably I was the biggest actually doing a relay team probably in in my district. Yeah, all them track guys though they about one one fifty one sixty receivers. Uh, you probably look like JP. Did you ever see them pictures of him in in high in high school? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he don't ever want them to be seen, so we gonna pass on that. Uh, oh, they can so, go to skate.com. They can probably find them. <laughs> uh, what positions were you playing? So you played you played quarterback and flag football. What yep. about in eighth grade? What did you start out as? Ninth grade. Yeah, I, did, I thought you started football in eighth grade. Yeah, eighth grade. I played. Uh, I played. I was O lineman and D lineman, and uh, and then I played a little outside backer, but like it wasn't that much. Uh, so went to ninth grade, and then you know, I got to high school. I only played offensive line. That's it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What what position? Uh, guard. Hey, just like old big, big baller Brooks. Yeah, I played go only, and I was like, man, it kind of got bored. But uh, I go on, go ahead. You know, when I started getting recruited, people, uh, it was like my it was like my sophomore year. When I started getting recruited, I was only playing O lineman. But my my sophomore year, I kind of moved over, started playing D lineman, and that's how the journey started. That's what a journey. So, so ninth grade, tenth grade, tenth grade. Yep. Yep. And then you know moved on. I played basketball and ran track. That, that stuff right there. But I did that stuff to stay in shape and you know try to just be yeah, every sport, every you know every other sport guy. You know. I uh, think I think all that attributed to how well rounded you are as far as athletic. You get guys playing basketball like JP. You some big guys can move. Um, that's what they're looking for. So did you? Did you play any DN in high school, or was it all D tackle? Did D, you I was a little around? Bit, not a whole lot. Uh, I played a little bit of DN, but it wasn't a whole lot because I um, they wanted me inside of high school because we moved a lot, so they wanted the quickness inside to move and penetrate. Yeah. Uh, so which 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 was effective though. So uh, more D so, tackle. When did the recruiting process kind of pick up? So you so you started playing the tenth grade. Was it probably eleventh? When, when did you get your first offer? Yeah, uh, uh, my uh, my my junior year. I still remember the coach that uh, that gave me my first offer. He came down, named Tony Hughes. Tony Hughes, out, out of where? Uh, he's from the school up north. He's from from the, uh, the Ole Miss at the time. Yeah. And uh, they gave him. That's my first offer. He came up. He came down and had my first D one uh, offer. Did, did he come to your house or did he come to your high school and meet with your No, nah, I came to the high school. Came to the high school? Yeah, they got me out of class and they, they offered me. Hey, it wasn't nothing like getting out of class and the recruiters coming. Hey, what? Man, I, may, I, may, I may be going to Alabama today. I may be going yeah. to Ole Miss next. You never know. Yeah, but it took off there. I was a junior to watch. And then uh, junior to watch is like a list of top juniors. And then my senior year of high school, I was, uh, I was a Danny Dozen, which – Crew had took off through the ceiling. Then Danny Dozen is uh, it's the best uh, twelve uh, players in the state of Mississippi. So, and that that year that class was was loaded. So, so yeah, I was. And then I said I uh, committed Mississippi State and shoot. I was what, what other schools were big on your list? Was it was Alabama it, up there, or was it? Or did you want to between, stay close at home? Yeah, it came down between uh, Mississippi State and Alabama, but. I wanted to be closer to home, Miss uh, State Starville, like two hours from my house, so that's that was easy right there for my family to come see me play. Versus you know four and a half hours, I have a long ticket to to, uh, to Tuscaloosa. Yeah, how close was it in uh, at, uh not Ole Miss, man, uh, Mississippi State? How far was that from the house? About about an hour, forty five minutes, two hours. Yeah, but oh, uh, so that's that's perfect. That's yeah, perfect. Man, that was that was man could go home man. Be back in the same day, especially when but, um, running home. How how was that first year? So you did? Did they redshirt you, or you didn't redshirt? No, nah, I, I was a true freshman. I went in. Uh, I graduated high school. I was like two thirty five, two forty. My first official way in for college, I was 
Take a guess. <laughs> I'm gonna say two forty-five. Two seventy-five. Two seventy-five. <laughs> that yeah. quick? Yeah. Hey, you came in strong, huh? You've been. <laughs> I had boy had those meals, those free meals, and and that, and that, that, that program. That, 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 That's what usually happens. That freshman freshman thirty, everybody comes back a little bit different after that. Yeah, so, yeah, that. Uh, <laughs> That uh, that, that weight program, Coach Bayless, Matt Bayless, put it on, you know, put it on us. So I was, I was yoked up though. Now I want no fat two seventy five neither. I was, I was yoked. Say what now? Hey, college. What do you say now? I said you kind, I said you kind of looked shredded a little bit back in college. No, I was, so they little, I was you shredded up a little bit. Um, so first year you you started. And no, I didn't start. Um, I was playing behind some guys, but by the middle of the season, I was starting. And then, I guess, at what point did you know that my game is changing? I'm starting to, I'm starting to get notoriety. Was that going into your junior year? Yeah, it was going into my junior year, kind of the end of my sophomore season, early, uh, early my junior or end of that sophomore season. And I started to kind of get the buzz and finally realized, like, man, like my game really going to another level and the whole time I'm like you know you know obviously you hear that uh you're gonna enter the draft da, 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 da. Like, man, I just gotta have a good season but then like the by the middle of the season my junior year my my position coach he, he just about knew like I was I was I was out of there yeah so he kind of gave you good advice I mean you were kind of pondering coming back but really, I, I, mean, I thought about coming back but after that season you had I didn't I just seen I was like man I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and Enter the draft. It's time to ride. So you got, you got drafted in what two thousand two thousand twelve. Yeah, you got your year before me. Yeah. You come in. Who who were the guys there? I know Trent Cole was there. I know Jason Babin was there. Who were some of the interior guys you were there with? Mason, Daryl Tap. Uh, I remember Daryl Tap. Uh, Played for the Redskins Mike, a little bit. Mike uh, Mike Patterson, uh, Cullen Jenkins, Derek Landry, BG Fatter. <laughs> hey, hey, was BG about two ninety five when he came in there? <laughs> His nickname uh, is Teddy Graham. Teddy Graham, hey, he, he's looking Boy, pretty lean, he, like a balloon. Yeah, he's been shrinking down. He's been on that on the barwish method up there. He posting all the workout videos. I know you be watching. Yeah, them. Like he's been to go to a CrossFit games or something. <laughs> yeah, doing CrossFit workouts. Hey, is uh, who's the funniest person to watch when they get tired? Oh, right now? <laughs> I'm, th I'm saying BG, one of the funniest oh, BG, to watch get tired. Oh, BG, definitely. <laughs> he gets, hey, look, he throw them hands on his hip and throw the head back. <laughs> and he look at you and go, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm looking right at him. I'll say, I feel you, man. I feel you. We about to, and hopefully we may, we may be feeling here. Um, when's reporting date? What they say, July 28th? Yeah, it's supposed to be the twenty eight. So you come in. Who was? Who were the main guys that you kind of clung to? I guess probably T. Co. would be. I guess some of the yeah, guys Trent, got his off so right Trent, away. Uh, hold on, right quick. I'm gonna say Trent and uh, Cullen. Yeah, Trent and Cullen. Those guys. They they talk, and Dara talked too. I talked to Dara. I mean, Dara still takes me to this day check on me, make sure I'm good. But uh, all those guys kind of kind of showed me how to be a pro, you know, showed me the steps and the things that to do to kind of, you know, be a pro and uh, and get ready and prepare myself. Yeah. I feel like you got your foot wet. I'm not sure what sacks you had, but I know you had a, a little bit for, for the playing time you got in. And I'm, I'm guessing that next year is when you kind of, I mean, really just kept on climbing from there. Really yes. the second, third years. My rookie year was, uh, I think I had like six and a half sacks. But I, like it was, it reminded me of my, how I started in college. I didn't start the first few games. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, after that, I think like week five, six, whatever, I was starting. And then it kind of like elevated from there, you know. Uh, but, but yeah, that's where it took off, like that second, third year where you kind of – things started to slow down for you a lot. I feel like that's when probably my second year in the league when, I, when you just kind of paddle, just catapulted yourself to the way you are now, to where you – you know, you were a name that was getting recognized and then now being the guy just totally dominating – Eliminating guys. Um, 
So, man, I guess what people want to know is, well, hey, what are you doing outside of football? I, I know I see you at the Shady Tail Ranch or Shady Trail Ranch. My my bad. Uh, I see you doing the the race cars. I want to know what uh, what goes on at the Shady Trail Ranch. Um, what kind of deer we got out there? Uh, what's life like out there? Just, man. just give the fans a little bit a uh, little bit of uh, what it's like out there. Uh, I mean, for uh, if if the, if people don't know, I'm gonna do a little advertising real quick. It's ShadyTrailRanch.com. It's uh, but basically, I've been out there uh, at the ranch, man, doing this whole deal. Um, just working, working out, you know, working on peace, the ranch. peace and quiet too. Yeah, very peace and quiet. It's uh, you're away from everybody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and basically, it's just what what I've been doing. Uh. I mean, hunt. We got big deer. We got all type of. Uh, we got all type. We got African game out there. We got elk. We got New Zealand stag. Man, Lane, we got it all out there, bro. So, so for viewers that don't know what an elk is, go look it up. Go look what a red stag is, and you're gonna be going, "Oh my God, these are some big animals." Big yeah, animals. Yeah, like a, 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 like about a 450 inch, 500 inch red stag, and, and you'll see the, the type of animals we got out there. And those things come from New Zealand, right? Yeah, they are from New Zealand, yeah. All New Zealand. Zealand. Yeah. And what a lot of people don't know, man, I mean, in Texas, it's big trophy hunting. I mean, that's a that's, that's a big thing as far as, you know, making money. It's not something, you you know, you probably have a few guys coming there, but just it's kind of a big business, especially down there in South Texas. Yeah, it's big. It's it's, it's, it's really big. Uh, I mean, it's, it's honestly, it's like where you, where you meet all new friends at out. You meet a bunch of new friends. Not do those people just become customers, but. You know, they become good friends, and I mean, you, know, you all just hang out. You know, they, they help get, you out, get good connections. Yep. Uh, I guess if you ever need any uh, help growing crop, all I see on Trent Cole's Instagram is damn the green beans then came in, the watermelon, the, the squash and potatoes then came in. We're what gonna, gonna huss that corn tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you posted a picture today to my talking about is uh posted a picture a little bit of watermelon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, that guy, that guy would come in with blood on his forearms. He's, yeah. Don't He's you got a game today? <laughs> oh, you're a fisherman now. I saw y'all was at the Mike Iconelli uh, fishing tournament uh, this past weekend, right? Yeah. Well, uh, we went down there. Uh, we weren't in the tournament. So, like, uh, a lot of those guys were fishing the grass beds on uh, where we're at. Was it the Susquehanna River, if I'm saying it right? And, man, we went to uh, a couple of those old bridges, and it was probably 50, 60 foot of water. And we are just sitting there jigging and probably 20 foot of water. And man, just catching some pretty good ones there in smallmouth. Uh, that's the second time I w went with me. Uh, the first time I went at the lake by his house, and it was about 12 degrees outside, and the damn rods on, I mean, the lids on the rods were freezing over. So, oh, that's too damn cold. That's good. Hey, Dan, hey, Lane, what about, uh, are you a big fisherman? Though? I went, uh, I went, uh, tuna fishing uh, last weekend, and uh, I left, uh, Longport, New Jersey, and we, we caught, uh, is that, like the, is that like the wicked tuna, or are we all catching yeah. how bigger? No, no, we ain't catching like the wicked tuna. We caught some some 50, 60 pound tuna, though, yellow fins. Yellow fins? Yeah. Well, they have, what are, they have yellow fins and blue fins, I guess. Yellow fins and blue fins, yeah. We got to go out like 80, 80 miles, so that's like a three hour drive, three hour hey. boat ride in the ocean, boy. Ooh. Hey, hey pe people don't know what it's like to get seasick. If you get it, it ain't going to stop until you nah, get back that, to land. That stuff just come and go. You, 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 it'll stop when you get home, yeah. Yeah, you can be laying that damn boat up there <laughs> up sideways. Hey, it like hey, it. It ain't no. Hey, just run me back real quick. Nah, you there? <laughs> you make sure to take your drama. Mean. Uh, gonna, I tell you what, I had a, uh, I had a, a um, soap patch. Oh, most patch you stick on your arm? No, nah, you just stick right there behind your ear, right there. That, 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 oh, behind your ear? It works. Yeah, people doing that on cruises. Did y'all? Uh, so y'all caught them, some of those guys will kind of clean it up, and y'all have that for dinner. Did y'all do any of that? No, no. Nah, nah, they, um, they suggested us not eat them right then because you don't know, uh, like, uh, they said, like, so, a couple people before that they know did that, and they barely got full of worms because, of, you know, really? like, like, you know, the, like, you know that the fish or something might have some kind of Par parasites, sites, whatever it is, and you just want to wait, freeze it, and, uh, I ate. Uh, I did eat tuna. Uh, made my uh, poke bowl on uh, Monday, and I had uh, like some tuna steaks on Wednesday. So, 
how big were some of those things? They get what? What were y'all catching? 40, 50 pounders? Yeah, that was yeah, 40, 50 pounders. Yeah, they hey, were. 40, 50 pounder. Well, where, where are your ass at? Oh, <laughs> I think my first one, my first one, I reeled it in too fast. My arm was, I was done. I felt like arm day after that. Your damn low back be tightened up, arms be hurting. Yeah, buddy. What you been up to though, man? <sighs> man, I've been to Jersey getting it. Uh, Man, I talked to Brooks last week. Uh, man, and it, whenever I asked him about it, I thought he was joking because he don't ever act, you know, serious. Man, told me about it. I was just devastated for him. And then here he is going two days later doing the jujitsu training. And, uh, man, did you did you get to see him before, he, before all that happened? Yeah, he, he looked like he was about 285. Hey, he was 325 with a six-pack, and, uh, and he said he had bad assistance, too. <laughs> 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 but, uh, Sitting back, waiting, uh, waiting for the season to start. If <laughs> you know how it is, uh, kind of just all on standby. So, it, man, it's something crazy. It's never, never nothing happened happen like this. Um, man, we got a bunch of guys wanted to ask. <laughs> hey, D. Ware, man, I invited you, man. Get on down. D. Ware said he didn't want to come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, let's go to some of these fan questions. There's, there was a few. My buddy Gabe, he wants to know what is the biggest fish that you've ever caught? The biggest? Like freshwater fish? Freshwater fish. Oh, bass. Yeah, bass. How big? I, I've, big caught a, I've caught a, I mean, a, a 15-pound catfish before, but, I mean, I would say a, a freshwater. I like I like bass. Uh, like a seven-pounder, seven, eight-pounder. He was like seven, five, something like the, that. The real question is, did you put it on your – Ball. It wasn't big enough. Wasn't big enough. I, I, I want ten. I want that fish is bad. Is ten always the? It, it can't go on the wall unless it's ten, huh? Unless yeah, it's, it's got to be ten. You can't put a seven pound fish up there. <laughs> Some of these boys down here do. <laughs> be, be a trophy fish. Uh, I, I, I can't put a seven pound fish on the wall. All I'm right. Seven uh, B twice four seven said your hardest O lineman to go against. <laughs> I feel like you go against a bunch of good ones. Man, I go against a, a bunch of a bunch of good ones. Shoot, I mean, I mean, I can start in practice with, with big with big Brooks. Hey, big is Brooks. that uh, what's that guy look like on the field? Man, how how big are that guy's legs on that on that football field? The, the trunks. Hey, them trunks. <laughs> nah, yeah. but I got a bunch of greats, a bunch of good players, man. Uh, shoot, uh, I got a lot of respect for Zach Martin. Got a lot of respect for Brandon Sheriff. Uh, those guys. Those I feel like our division's pretty got a pretty good stack O line for yeah. guards. Yeah, yep. Pretty good. Uh, what about old Marshall Yonder? Do, have you gone against him a few times? I was young. I was I was in my uh, I was a rookie, but yeah, Marshall. Bunch of respect for him. Uh, he's really good. Uh, that dude, he, yeah, hey, he, he smart too. Them, them Iowa guys are smart, and they're hey, they ain't got nothing to do out there except go train in the damn snow and that's it corn crops. That's it. What else you got? I'm seeing. Uh, KMK Graphics asks, Fletch, are you excited to play with big Javon Hargrave? Man, I'm excited to play with. Yeah, I'm excited to have big Grave. I'm excited to have Malik back healthy. Uh, it's going to be a uh, – It's going to be scary. Uh, Derek getting back healthy? Very, very scary, yeah. This is a good group of guys. Great group of guys. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yeah, man, we're uh, we're still on the hunt for trying to fill the void with the guard position. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a big shoe to fill right there. <laughs> big Phil walked around that building saying, "I used to throw hands on JP." He said, "JP still got hand marks on him." <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, David William asked. Where is the best place to fish or that you like to fish? Man, I, I would say around in, in Jersey or, or where though, but I know Mississippi is around here. There's these farm like ponds. Farm ponds, yeah. Like little lakes and neighborhoods. The neighborhood lakes, they'd be the best. But they have they will have some big fish out there. But uh neighborhood lakes, especially out here, and then I thought my um buddy Andrew stay at he, we catch some big fish out there. I feel like those fish down south get they, they may get a little bit bigger because it's warmer all year. 
Oh yeah, the water and the water get you know the the, the bass hitting right now too. I I, I heard pretty bit pretty good right now. Yeah, they they had a I think the winning bag at a uh, Ike's thing was twenty two pounds. So each fish, dang near weighed four and a half pounds. Hey, that's a good day. That is a damn good day. Trent, Trent Cole came in there. I, I didn't see his totals, but I don't. He was seven, <laughs> 18 pounds, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, Trent Cole came in a little bit light to the to the weigh ins. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see him. I guess they got there late. He oh, back and rolled. Yeah, he, he, he was in the, back, in the back. You know, he had a little bit of fish and threw them in his back. Man, uh, we got a few more. I need a good locker room story. Is there anything funny about BG? Is there anything funny uh, about Chris Long? Is there anything funny about uh, Mr. Michael Bennett, perhaps? Um, uh, the, I get, I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell one from my point of view. Uh, go ahead. I remember Mike, uh, Michael Bennett's first day in the building, he showed up in the damn cafeteria about 7 a.m. with his boom box going. I think some J. Cole was going on. <laughs> the coaches were sipping their coffee going, what the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that. I ain't never seen that like that. Uh, I, don't, I really don't have – I got a funny story about BG when he got caught uh, – when he got caught throwing down them fart bombs. Greg got, him, Greg got on him. I, I didn't hear about that. No, he what, was what he doing? down for he got he was doing it for a couple of days. <laughs> he was doing it all in the locker room. Yeah, you know, Big Al told on him though. I think it was Big Al the one that told Big him. Big Al. Yeah. <laughs> Why would Big oh, Al? Oh no, Big J. You wrong for that shit. <laughs> so he was doing that, and Greg was tired. He was he's going, "What the hell is tearing up my locker room?" Yeah. Oh, Brandon, <laughs> oh, Brandon Graham. Hey, well, most people don't know who is the uh, biggest talker on the team. BG. Hey, is it unbelievable? Man, hey, listen, let me tell you something about BG. You know, BG, he did. He play, we obviously we play beside each other, right? He'd be on the field talking smack to the tackle, doing all this. I'd be like, BG, you know this man finna double team me, right? <laughs> <laughs> you ramping him up for Flint to take the load. That's what I'm saying. He like, oh, hey, I think the my, my bad. The I most think. trash I think I've seen him talk is every time we play the Cowboys, him and Lowell Collins are just nonstop. <laughs> hey, boy, I'm going to get you, boy. Yeah, boy, you fat boy. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah BG. Boy. BG. That's his favorite thing, right? Hey, fat boy. Been having, I know somebody about to talk shit with a my piece in their mouth. <laughs> no, he was a pacifier. Yeah, fat boy. A pacifier. You know he can't breathe out that damn thing. That's why, that's why he be no. gas for prayer. Can't breathe out of it. Well, man, uh, I appreciate you taking time out of your day uh, to get a little bit of insight of your life outside the football field, on mm. the football field. And, uh, man, get ready to see you in a month. So Yeah, man. Get, I'm there, brother. I'm be there. Ready to go. Yes, sir. Well, man, I uh, appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you soon, buddy. Appreciate having me on, bro. Peace. Outside the lane. Boom. Boomer. <laughs>